بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم urged us to work on our manners and to be Umma Wasata, a community that is in the middle, the middle path. And that the one who's concerned about their morality, concerned about their manners, concerned about their behavior and interacting with other people, that this person will have a heavy reward on their scale of good deeds on the Day of Judgment. And that this is a characteristic of the believer. <clears throat> the believer is concerned about their scale of good deeds the believer is concerned about having good manners or exhibits good manners. That's a characteristic of the believer. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ma min shayin athkulu athkulu fi mizana mu'min yawm al-qiyamah min husna khulq wa inna allaha yubghidu Al Fahish al Bidi. Prophet said that there isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale of the believers. That will weigh heavier on the scale of the believer on the day of judgment than good manners. And very Allah hates wicked and vile speech so controlling our tongues correcting our manners should be some of the utmost and foremost duties that we should strive to practice in Islam after learning Tawheed and while continuing to learn and practice Tawheed by worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the believer should strive to perfect their conduct. Bitter Walidain to be kind to their parents and have gentle speech, which of course is not an easy task, but it is the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that's what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was upon that his speech was righteous speech, teaching, preaching, commanding the good and forbidding the evil, and that unless there was something muharram that required stern speech, the Prophet ﷺ didn't use it except under those circumstances. And the Prophet ﷺ was not one who cursed the people and spoke ill of people alayhi salatu wasalam so that's the pattern that we should try to emulate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa ati'u allaha wa ati'u rasul and obey Allah and obey his messenger alayhi salatu wasalam and obedience to the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasalam is following his commands adhering to his sunnah the actions that he did and the behavior that he exhibited alayhi salatu wasalam and we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of those who practice the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a manner that pleases Allah. Tabarak wa ta'ala wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.